Okay, go ahead. And I got through. See? Magic. Magic miracles. and miracles. You got I it. I don't believe in magic. I believe in Jesus. Well, but anyhow. It's good for you. Moving, moving on down the line. All right. Politics. We have to talk about politics? No, we don't really have to. If you'd rather not, just tell me, and I'll just move on to another subject. I'm sure I can find something shortly. My wife is really upset at me because I stay up all night listening to you. Well, well, well tell her to, you know, she should listen, too. Make it a family affair. She works in the morning. I just pulled the plug in February 1st. and um, How long did you work? That's the other thing I want to talk to you about. People looking for jobs. Folks, I put my application in July. I was there or on the phone every day for four months till I got my job. Putting an application in or a resume does not get you a job. That tells, you, tells them you're there. Yeah. Show them you want to be there. You sound like Jesse Ventura. I'm sorry. Well, maybe that's a good thing. I like him. He's a pretty straight shooter. Well, so what I did is I let them know every day I wanted the job. They gave me the job because they were so tired of seeing they, me. They probably said, let's just hire him and get him off our hire back. Hire the guy. We don't have to hear him anymore. And have you turned out to be an exemplary employee? Well, I retired after 39 years at the top as I can go, except they wouldn't take me into supervision because um, they were probably afraid of me. Well, you're probably you know a little too forceful for them. Well, I think it was a case of probably I'd make the company work the way it was supposed to. You mean, you mean operation that, efficiently? Well, being, being that it's a run by a, an authority, you know, a state-run Fed run company. Oh, that's right. You're in New York. Well, then, you know, I probably didn't fit quite into the scheme of things. So you're getting a I've pension? I've seen a lot of stupid stuff go on. You're getting a I'm pension? To, I, ah, well, we won't go there because, yes, sir, I do. Yes, sir, I paid for it. And, yes, sir, it is not really that swell, but I'll get by and I can get a part time job. And what's Social Security kicking for you? Oh, well, when you get into, um, like, um, GM, mm-hmm. Delphi, stuff like that, they get their package up front. So at no time in the future will they get a raise. When their SSI kicks in, their pension drops by that amount. So I wonder whatever how, they're I'm, out the door now with, that's what they get. All right. Well, I wonder how many people would take these early buyouts that some companies give them, where they give them fifty, a dollars $100,000 up front which, of course, you got to get taxed on it, don't you? I'm, I'm sure you do. And take the buyout, and then here's the secret. you got to find a job right away because if you do that, it's all profit. Some people, some people I know, they retired in St. Louis, same kind of thing. They got buyouts from big companies, and they didn't get a job. They just lived off that until it was gone. And then they really had to work, and by that time it was even later for them. Mike, sound off in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Go ahead, Michael. Yeah, hi, I want to sound off about the uh, you know, show about illegal aliens, and I think you should do more on it because uh, it's a real big problem. It's, it's, not a, problem it's here a big it's problem. Small, but uh, I came from California a few months ago. And this is an American town, but the town that I came out of, 20 to 30 percent of the people living there were illegals. Yeah, you're not opposed to you, you're not opposed to immigration, legal immigration. No, no, no we need them. Of course we do. Them, but there needs to be a legal way for them to get here. Absolutely. And they need to go home when they're done working. Yep. You know, and let another group come in and work. Unless you're going to yeah. knock all the borders down and make this just a one-world government. Well, that's... Which is I'm their plan. I'm not going to get into that, that mess, but, you know, I mean, you can't get a job in retail there if you don't speak Spanish. You can't get service at the jack-in-the-box counter unless you can name the items off that you want in Spanish. You know, and it's not just a matter of the people coming here and taking jobs. It's, it's they don't want to become part of our culture. Well, one thing in this country, we have got to implore that people learn English, and they read it, and they write it, and they speak it, because this is the United States, right? You, know, you keep your other languages... But, uh, you know, the big language here in this country is English, and everybody ought to learn it. 
and uh, speak it. Let's go, Eliza. We're running out of time, Eliza. So why don't you just say good night to everybody for me? Could you do that? Yeah, I just want to say one thing. I have a trike, and I'm just tired of people throwing bottles, actually hitting me. No. On, I have a trike. Okay, this thing cost me four hundred dollars. And all three tires are flat. All right. Say good night to everybody for me, Eliza. Good night. My name's Eliza. <laughs> for Jason Bowers, Wayne Roberts, Dan Galante, Karis Coburn, Tom Danheiser, Lisa Lyon, Lex Lonehood, Sean LaDesour, Ross Mitchell, George Knapp, Ian Putin, and Art Bell. I'm George Norrie, somewhere out there on Coast to Coast AM. We'll see you on our next edition. Until then, <laughs> be safe, everyone.